my run and I'm finding it very hard. Firstly because I haven't run in well over a week and a half now having had this cold. And secondly because I have the most terrible, terrible night's sleep. As you can probably tell by my eyes. I was just up like four times in the night, really scratching badly. And the reason is bad food choices over the last few days and um, letting some caffeine slip back into my diet by way of English breakfast tea and dark chocolate. So I'm looking forward to just getting back to a routine and normality and just using that last few days before Christmas as a chance to just reset. Um, Christmas isn't going to be very hardcore for us anyway because that woman just gave me a weird look because it's just going to be me, my husband, and my mum and my dad on Christmas Day. We'll probably do a big walk and keep the food quite chilled. <sighs> Got one more Christmas party thing this evening with friends, but it's just a nice dinner and a nice restaurant, so that will be lovely. And uh, yeah, I shall endeavour to do better um, in the coming days. But yeah, just to get through today, I don't know how I can stay awake, but I'll finish my run now. Probably can't hear me because it's so windy. <sighs> Feeling accomplished and tired after that run, but I'm so excited to eat my porridge because I haven't had it in a few days. I've been up early, up and out early, and tomorrow will be the same. We've got a very early photo shoot tomorrow, so I'm just gonna make the most of a bit of a slow morning this morning eating my yummy porridge, checking my emails. Very excited by this. I've had my boiled egg, I've got my porridge. My computer is failing to load Google Chrome. A cup of tea, which I know I'm not supposed to have, and it's a very grey day. Just gonna get through my emails now, get a few things done, and then I'll go and meet Laura. She's working in the Comrade shop on Marlow in High Street, and um, meet her after lunch, I think. And uh, yeah, just trying to get through a few last things before Christmas because I plan to have a nice break over Christmas. And um, yeah, just feeling a bit... Oh, anyway. Gross weather on my way to Foxlow to meet the girls for our Christmas dinner um, and oh, I've had a pretty shitty day that's why I haven't really been on here just annoying stuff happening at work making me really upset <laughs> um, but it's all good because I'm going to have a lovely evening and it's nearly Christmas excited Why would you use it as a brain? <laughs> yeah. Can't it. I actually have a whole mouth like that. Vlogmas day 17 was looking very short until I jumped on here to do this um, a couple of days later or the day after, sorry. I didn't manage to vlog much during the day because my day was going to go one way and then it went another. It's just a tough time of year, isn't it? I think emotions are running high, there's a lot of pressure on at work, people are stressed and just wasn't the best day. <laughs> it was really, it really got better when I went out for a meal with my girlfriends in the evening, which was fantastic. And today has not been the best either. So I thought I'd just come on and chat about it, to be honest. I think as women, we, I mean, I know like a lot of my girlfriends are the same. If you're feeling tired, hormonal, anything, it's so easy to, depending on what kind of person you are. I mean, I'm a crier. <laughs> And I'm also quite sensitive and I'm quite sensitive at work because I take everything I do very seriously and I really have a lot of pride in everything that I do. And when I feel like that that's not valued, um, it really like gets to me and really gets me down. And then it literally only takes kind of one thing to tip me over the edge and I'm like a sobbing wreck basically. So yeah, it's just been a really tough couple of days. Um, Laura, our designer, has just gone back to Italy 
So I feel like my kind of, I don't know, it was, it was like the best week because I, we're so similar in so many ways and it was amazing having her here and just hanging out with her and doing loads of stuff together but at the same time I'm sure like everyone appreciates that it's really nice to have like alone time as well and I'm looking forward just to just not being switched on all the time I think that's what it was it's like just work was like 100% of the time because we're obviously both working for the same company doing the same thing um but it was such a fun week and I never normally go out as much as I did and we did so many fun things and I'm really proud of how my body has coped with all of the food that I've thrown at it this week and the drinks I've had a couple of cocktails here and there which is something that I just could not do this time last year I mean I was wrapped up in cotton wool to the point of you know not even being able to eat the simplest of foods like avocado and bananas and because I was reacting to everything, let alone having a glass of wine um, to celebrate Christmas. So it's just been, it's been really good and really tough as well. And I think, you know, everyone is so looking forward to Christmas break just to have a good old rest. Um, I certainly am. And also just to wind down from work and all of this stuff. So... I'm in London over the weekend. I'm just going to take it really easy. I've got lots of nutrition stuff to do, so I'll be focusing on that. And yeah, just going to eat loads of delicious, healthy food um, that feeds my body exactly what it needs, feeds my soul as well. Sleep a lot, walk a lot, get into nature and just, yeah, get back to me. Because I think when you're so busy, you forget to carve out those moments for yourself, which is so important to help keep you balanced. So yeah ending today on a very positive note um looking forward to the next few